Ten of the original teams managed to pass scrutineering testing yesterday and will be at the starting line of this morning. The target is Cape Town and this is stage one of the 2014 Sassel Solar Challenge. We are here at the CSIR in Pretoria and in a couple of moments the NWU team will start the epic journey to Cape Town. Thanks to excellent scrutineering results, the team will start in second position, right behind Maragon. The team of Maragon will be competing this year using the revamped Batmobile that won the event for the NWU in 2012. It's our old, our old car and uh, they beat us with one second yesterday, but we're proud and um, we're happy that, that they can also have a share in the limelight. I don't think from today they'll be in front, but one never knows. I'm extremely nervous, but quite excited. Uh, it's the normal pre-race jitters that I have at the moment. And I, I feel that uh, we've got a good team, we've got a good car. Uh, we just get to everybody after the first three hours, they, they will be gelling, so it will be great. Uh, Minister Pranzel, do you have a special message for us? I don't know whether you know we're the defending champions currently. Yes, do you well, have a special I, I know message? that in 2012 you did very well, so I hope you do even better this year. And well done to, to the university for uh, having another car in the challenge. And thank you very much for donating your other car to the school and helping our young people to be part of the challenge as well. <laughs> oh, that was fun. That was great fun. Yeah, the car handles like a dream. Uh, we had great speeds. Uh, we had an accident on the road, but the team would look very well for, of us. What sort of speed were you averaging? Uh, we did from Pretoria to about um, Alberton, we did between 90 and 100. And from there on, we did 110 all the way. Uh, at the moment, they said uh, Nuna was going to be passing us, and they just never could get past us. So, yeah. Feels quite good, cars handling good, uh, electronics, everything is looking good, so yeah, we're excited. Over 60 years ago, a company was found with the main purpose of reaching new frontiers. Today, Sassel, as the main sponsor of the Sassel Solar Challenge, is still committed to this goal. Teams are allowed to increase their distance during the race by doing additional loops. It is thus quite fitting that today's loop has Sasselberg as the starting point. The Northwest University broke their own previous record for the furthest distance ever travelled by a South African team on a single day. The team is currently in first place on the South African leaderboard and in third place overall. Without sponsors, the Sirius X25 would have remained a dream. One of these sponsors that literally keep the wheels turning is Bridgestone. I think we'll start off with saying it's a proud honour to, to be part of this uh, interesting race. It's something that's unusual. Um, as you know, Bridgestone is worldwide part of the Solar Car Channels in the, uh, Challenge in the World Cup. Um, we're all about reducing CO2 emissions. And we all like a bunch of energetic kids because this is a project that we like doing. Um, obviously, Northwest University defending champions. So who would not be wanting to be affiliated with them? So yeah, we're very excited about it. I think it's quite clear that it's a, a good opportunity to teach the youth about the impact the tyres have on the road, etc., and the ecology. Um, and yeah, hopefully Northwest University can win again. Yeah. 